Okay, okay, hello. Hi, Hi Brie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. Today we have Brie today bringing us to Christmas season, welcoming us. Uh, we have a Christmas holiday beverage, some Kawartha Dairy chocolate milk ice cream, and or some kind of ice um, peppermint twist. Delicious. Brie doesn't drink. Um, wine so i had to get creative with my drinking so this is delicious cheers cheers to a girls night <laughs> we're going to be making sugar cookies yes and decorating them so that you can do them too at home uh, this holidays get your family together Everyone. and let's get cooking Everyone we've got art classes with amelia before and now we have <laughs> cooking classes with brie and <laughs> Ooh, it smells like a little, like little bit of pressure. Here. Yeah. pressure. <laughs> Marie, who was who was the, the people that you bought that candle from? That is a great question. Uh, <laughs> should I bring it over? I'll bring it, it over. It says it on the candle. Um, it smells delicious. Cold Throw Candle Company. I think. Is that actually, that looks like Christmas? Cool. Yeah, too. I'm pretty sure it's. Is, Yes, cold throw candle. Yeah. Oh, it smells, it smells so really good. It's called Christmas Lodge. So Look at that. It's, uh, yeah. At the market. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right here in Duro that had the yeah. three hour wait. wait. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it for the candle. Go to your, go to your markets, <laughs> even very well uh, coated. Dressed. Yep. Dressed. Dressed cozy. Two hour wait is, uh, is what you, you should expect. Did you get to the market? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I left. Okay. Yeah. Because there was like a two hour plus wait to even get into the barn <laughs> where the market was. So I left uh, because it was just up the road. And right. then I went back at like when it was closing. Just got, <laughs> got my candle. I needed to get a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, it's good. Yeah. How long was the wait when you came back? Zero. 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 Yeah, zero. Oh, nice. So you just have to go. So just go late. Just go late. That's the first time. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a, a tip. Yeah. A tip from you're a perfect an this excellent shopper. Tip that's Tuesday. I usually but it's come really to Brie <laughs> if I need any any <laughs> shopping advice. Fun Brie and is. I uh, probably bought it at Airy. <laughs> if you'd like to sponsor me, Airy. <laughs> Airy, please. I'm willing. Send her all your stuff. <laughs> she already does. <laughs> you just need to pay her. Yeah. Yeah. Or just yeah. give me the odd free sweater. It would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just have you seen the thrifties? While. Have you been to thrifties? No. They have all the airy stuff, but Do like they? super discounted. Uh, so where's that? Just uh, by the uh, portage. No. Portage. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, portage. Yes. Okay. Just by Police and Metro oh. and that plaza. They have a thrifties, and they have blue nose okay. airy. I did not uh, know that. Rumi, I didn't know uh, that either. But like mega discounted, like Sweet. $5. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. $1. I want shirts for $1. That's amazing. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. $20 jeans. Wow. It's, it's a good place. Okay. It's a good place to go. Yeah. Yeah. Go to thrifties. Also, Lots sponsor us all. Love us all. <laughs> all, this all. Just, just give us anything <laughs> free. <laughs> Christmas presents of the, of the day. Okay, so Brie, mm -hmm. what ingredients do we need to make cookies? Okay, so. We're gonna How complicated do, does it get? This isn't complicated at all for this one. Um, it's just your basic sugar cookie recipe. So the dough needs to chill for two to three hours before you can use it. So I already made it because I don't think we'll be filming for that long. <laughs> <laughs> so in <Hey>. a... <laughs> yes. In the conversation, okay. go for I would be asleep <laughs> by then. Um, so if you have a big bowl or like a stand mixer, you put... Um, you'll write the ingredients down. Yes. But it's... One and three quarters cups of icing sugar, creamed with one cup of you can see it room here. temperature <laughs> butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla, and you cream that together until it like comes together smooth. I don't know if that's smooth is a, like ice, like frosting. <clears throat> yeah, like yes. it's just mixed nicely together, like no chunks in your butter. Key to that is having soft butter, like, like not Christmas. melted, no, but like soft. ice cream. Sorry, like Christmas ice cream. Christmas ice cream. <laughs> Sure. Yes. <laughs> um, and then you 
put an egg in, mm -hmm. mix that in, and then you add two and a half cups of flour. And then once that all comes together, you put the dough in a ball Pretty simple. and you put it in the fridge. What would come out? Yeah, that is half. I usually split it in two and then put it in the put it in the fridge. So do you ever freeze it and then you can, use it yeah, like later? You just need to um, pull it out in time yeah. to defrost. Yeah. Okay. Because it has so much butter in it, you have to chill it. Like if you try and make this and then roll them out and cookie cutter them right away, it's not <laughs> that like it's me. not going to happen. <laughs> to be honest, you have to be a little I'm bit a, patient. That person that was like, eh, no. <laughs> Two hour long. Yeah. Okay, so this needs to be cool. It does need to be chilled. If you are in like a super rush, I have done before where you put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes. Uh, if you're like really, rushed. really trying to get it done. Yeah. But it's best to just do it in the, in in the, the fridge. fridge. Yes. Okay. Okay. So then let's get into it. Are you going to put us to work? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you to work. There is a rolling pin. Yeah. Amelia, are you ready? I'm ready. To, to roll? I think you get the flour. So, you so get actually, to do work. it's not <laughs> I've been rolling flour. Paper. It is icing sugar because it's a cookie. So you want it to oh. be nice and I don't know if you want to move the camera. Okay, okay. Good. That's you, want a it good to be, you want it to be Here. something oh, sweet, it, like, right? Yes. No, it's pretty hard still. So sometimes you do have to like work it with your hands a little bit. If it's been in the fridge, <clears throat> like depending on how cold your fridge is too. Do you want it to be still um, hard? Yeah, like you want it to be pretty firm because otherwise they just fall apart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This so is you can. Pretty hard. Yeah, it is yeah, pretty yeah, hard, yeah. but yeah, you want to make sure that your surface is well floured, icing sugared, in this case. And then you can put it on the top and then I also put it on this because you don't want it to start sticking because then you're after you cut your cookies out they just stick and they rip apart so Amelia <laughs> I can relate <laughs> Amelia <laughs> it is your job to so, it, <laughs> roll it's roll, hard roll. Oh my like you goodness. can do a bit that way and then stop spin. yeah and then you can spin that or spin your arms whatever man <laughs> getting a workout for the day But it's so, like once it starts to soften, it softens pretty quickly. Yeah, no, so it's better to have it a or bit. Amelia is really spreading. <laughs> She's know. rolling up the sleeves. <laughs> She's going and then for it. You want it about. Geez, I'm not good with measurements. That's okay. Like you a, can show a, show us the number. <laughs> a quarter of an inch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're heading well towards Half a grandma. <laughs> That my grandma is also the same. Oh well, of course you put salt and pepper and tomatoes yeah. and all of this, obviously. <laughs> then just stop for a sec, because sometimes it starts to soak it all in. Oh. So I flip it over and kind of reapply. Like you want it constantly to be sugared. Yeah, you not like it doesn't to... need to be like white. But yeah, if it sticks to the counter, you just have to re. You have to re-roll it or re-cut yeah. your cookies out so it's just annoying. So that's almost getting there. Okay. Just a little more on that end is okay. a little thick because you want to try and keep them even. <clears throat> yeah, but that looks really good. I would say that's good. Perfect. Yeah. So then that's still good there. So of course we have our very, very Christmassy cookie cutters. Christmas tree, you can use whatever you want. This recipe too, like for these cookies, you can make them for any season. That's what I love about them. So we have a bunch. So you just arrange it, try and do them like, you know, when you do Super them, cute. like as close as you can. And then we'll take them out and then the scraps, you re-roll to make some more cookies. And I'll get the pans ready while you do that. What, is, what an easy way. Really? Yeah. The gingerbread houses seem to be the hardest things to do. They're hard because they have to be structurally sound or they just... <laughs> yeah. Well, you have engineering experience. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You should know this. <laughs> 
<laughs> of all <Yeah>. people. <laughs> I expect the perfect gingerbread house. The you. icing recipe <laughs> that I have for these cookies is also really awesome, awesome glue. Oh, like, are you going to teach us how for... to do it? I'm going to tell you how to do it. Mm. Yes. Perfect. Those are the perfect thickness because they do, they puff up. There is, that's one thing I forgot in the recipe. This is why we will have to write this out. <laughs> Perfect, yes. There is a teaspoon of baking powder as well. So we'll, yeah, write that out. But they do puff up a little bit, but not too much. Oh, so okay. they stay, baking they powder. stay pretty much this size. <clears throat> baking powder, not too much. No, no. but it is needed. Forget that. Let's see how they're looking. And they probably Two can't hear it, but we have <gasps> Christmas music and a what? fire going. Yeah. It's so Can we just Christmassy? Do it. Look at the fire. Just yeah. It is. It is a good day. A good Christmassy day. Absolutely. What's your favorite part about Christmas? I guess probably getting together with family. And just like that it's such a joyous time of year. Yeah. If I had to, there's so many things. Oh, so like I love things. the music. I love. I love the music. Like all the carols. Like I love like the traditional yes. ones too. And the fun ones. Like, yeah. It's not a lot to go caroling, I think. No. Not this year. No. So we're, so we're yeah. actually getting a big group together if you'd like to join. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we, you know what? It would be really nice to have. Like a choir in your balcony, and okay. then we can sit in the in the lawn. Okay, you make it happen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think Frank will back me up. I oh, think Frank would love it. I think absolutely. I think he's a, he's the kind of For person sure. that would love it. Yeah. Like a classical or yeah. or the <clears throat> yeah the Adeste Fidelis mm -hmm. in the night. The Berries Bay Bunch. Oh. All the Berries Bay well. kids. <laughs> the choir can come. And sing for us. What a nice You're doing such day. a good job, Amelia. Yeah, Thank you. I am having a blast. <laughs> I should also say, parchment paper is a must. Where? Oh, in the on in the, the pan. pan. Like on the pan, please. <laughs> <laughs> My parchment paper uh, burns. Do you have parchment paper or wax paper? Because they look the same, <laughs> but they are very different. That's true. Oh. Wax paper burns like a mother. And parchment paper does not. <laughs> this is the stuff that I use. You can get a big three pack from Costco. <laughs> Costco, sponsor me. Sponsor free. <laughs> she is. She does love Costco. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Look at you. Good job. Okay. That was so fun. <laughs> so we have that. So yeah, you want to? Yes. So after Amelia cut them all out, you have all the little scraps. Don't throw that out. You roll it out again. <laughs> and you cut out more cookies. <laughs> um, but if you want, for there isn't room on this yeah. pan, pan. But yeah, but that's what you would do. Is <laughs> make more. <laughs> so look at the magic that's gonna happen. Magic of TV. Bree is gonna Three put power. there 350 degrees. And <sighs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So we are going to put the cookies. You're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which it's getting there. So, yeah. And then you're going to bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. <laughs> and baby. And what happens after 30 minutes? Ba -ba. They're ready. They're the wow. power of TV. Wow. Magical. <laughs> cookies are ready. They are perfectly baked. <laughs> <laughs> My old man couch. Okay. Wow, Brie. Perfectly baked. How long? How, many, how long did we let them? Ten. Oh. In the in oven? In the oven. <clears throat> Ten to twelve minutes. And they are not burned. No, just kidding. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Okay. What you want is to what you want in the consistency of your icing is what what they call flood consistency. So after you mix those three ingredients together, when you pull up your um, beaters, like whether you're doing it in a stand mixer or with like a hand mixer, when you pull them up, that the icing floods back into itself 
in five to ten seconds. If it is all of it, <clears throat> so like back, like back into spoon? its memory. No, like there'd be some on the spoon, but like I mean, like the stuff that drips back into the icing floods back in. Like you wouldn't see that it was out of the bowl. Like it just okay. kind of melts back okay. into it. Okay. Um, because if it's too thick, it won't, it won't come out of the. the it won't come out of the bag when you go to decorate, and if it's too thin, it won't stay on your cookie. Okay. Yeah. So very soft. Yeah. It's pretty thin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Careful. It's, it's thin, but not too thin. No. Maybe let's... Let's twist. try it. Let's just twist start this trying back, it Because out. I feel like... Yes. It it's was not enough room for, for, yeah. for all of us on that side. I'm just full 360. So, when you are doing these I'll just kind of show you guys now I am no expert at this but I've done it a couple more times than you guys probably have so I will we'll just kind of show you and then yeah you dye them with I should specify gel food coloring not the liquid drops what yeah because if you that add needs a specification if you add liquid more liquid the icing will be too runny so it needs to be the gel stuff Oh, yeah. I don't you can also, if you want, just ice these with like a buttercream icing. You don't have to use a fancy icing. This is just fun for like fancier decorating. Oh. Okay. Perfect. What do we want to do? Should I do a tree or should I do a star? Cute. Okay. Cute. So, tree with the green. this creative. is a disposable piping bag with a number four Wilton tip, <laughs> if anyone oh, wants to know. You. So you kind of want to hold it above where you're going. You don't want to hold it like right on the tree. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just kind of flow with yeah. it. So you start with your outline and then you're going to need a toothpick or something like very fine. So you do your outline and then do your fill in part here. You just do whatever you want here because this is not what it's going to actually look like when you're done. So see how the icing kind of melts back into itself? Mm -hmm. So fill it all in there like that. <clears throat> and then to make it perfect, you just take the little toothpick yeah, out on or, and then you just wow Brie. and then this dries hard within two hours let me, let me in here because you're not appreciating me and if you mess up like i kind of messed mm -hmm. up right there you can kind of pull it out and fix <laughs> it go ahead. take it away i can't i can't fix it and so you just pull it into itself to smooth it all out and it gives you like that perfect glossed cookie. Brie, that's the secret. Yeah. I, I, and it's so relax. like it's, you'll see, like it's actually <laughs> so relaxing to me anyways. Like I could just do this for a long time. Really? Yeah, it's so, it's peaceful. Like painting. Yeah, it kind Maybe, of is, eh? For Amelia. Am I an artist or what? I think you are, Brie. <laughs> I think we discovered you are. You should make it an edible art. So there we go. There we have it. Now, this icing, so if you cute. want, like you can add, you can add um, decorations like onto your tree or whatever with the, uh, with the other colors, but at this point it will melt into this icing. But if you want like 3D, like to do garland or to do Christmas balls on this, you just let it dry for like half an hour and then you could do them on I top. More. But then you'll see, like I'll show you, I'll do some blue on this one. We can do some little dots or something. My blue got a little bit darker than I wanted it to. The blue gel food coloring, just FYI, everyone, if you try to use it, it shouldn't. But maybe that's a good idea just in case. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's do just like some little 
Oh, like we're not waiting for it. No. Yeah, so it will just kind of. Oh, melt back. Looks in. like I'm gonna make a happy little tree here. Happy tree. Yeah. <laughs> like Bob Ross, paint happy little trees. You guys wanna do one here? Sure. Yeah, after you. It's hard. Like it's better if you. It's easier if you wait because it's hard to stop. When it's sticking oh, yeah. to itself. It's probably easier to get precise too when you it, it's yeah, hard, right? It is. Yeah. And you can buy even um finer tips okay. to do. Well, my first answer kind of wants to be Christ, <laughs> but I feel like <laughs> he Christ in Christmas. <laughs> But like obviously, okay, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without that. So that aside, yeah. seeing family, like for sure, spending quality time with family, yeah, and eating, I and eating. The food, <laughs> the food is top notch. The food. What do you eat for Christmas? Everything. Just like all the good stuff. I don't know. Appetizers. Yeah. And appetizers. What's An appetizer. Like, do you, do you have a specific meal? Not really. We've just done like appetizers instead of like a turkey dinner the past few years. Oh, I honestly, because it's so much. Everyone eats all day, anyways. Yeah, and, and then, then you're not the hungry for the turkey. Yeah, that was yeah. Nice. And then you slave all day making food that no one's hungry to eat because everyone's already eaten hors d'oeuvres all day. Mm -hmm. It is a good idea. Yeah. So then, if you just have the hors d'oeuvres out, you can Get keep like some turkey. and then like yeah. put them in the oven for dinner time. But it's just. A smart idea, smart things. But the thing is, I think my parents have tried to not have turkey one year, and just why? Oh. I don't know. Why would you not have turkey? It's the time of the year. Uh. Do you have turkey for you? Yeah. No. Yeah. We've tried. I don't know where we try it, but we tried not to. Gravy. Oh yeah, cranberries. Oh. Do you make your own cranberry sauce? Mm-hmm. Well, do I... you mind the cranberry in the can? I don't mind. It. I don't mind it. I love it. I, don't <laughs> I mind it love at all. that cranberry sauce. I learned how to make my cranberry sauce, I think, last year. That's... But it's pretty easy. No? Yeah. Just cranberry and sugar. Yep, pretty much. And it's tasty too. It is. Yeah. And you can add like. Some spices and stuff like that, which makes it like super Christmassy tasting. Like it literally tastes like Christmas in a sauce. That sounds delightful. <laughs> like you can add like cinnamon or like nutmeg. Like it's really good. Yeah. That's it's, spicy. You add, you add those? Yeah, not oh, always. Cinnamon and Not nutmeg. always, but yeah, a little bit of that is really nice too. Nutmeg is a strange flavor. I am not, uh, my palate's not. Loving it. You you can't overuse it. It's really it's I think potent. I overused it one time and it makes your tongue go a little like numb if you overuse yeah. it. There's well, even that pumpkin spice. I tried to make <laughs> pumpkin spice for pumpkin muffins. Oh yeah. And if you want you can use this one. Let me see if it works. And the the ratio of each thing really matters. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I don't think I listened to the recipe well enough, and it was not good. Uh, uh, both Gabriel and Anthony threw the muff muffins at me. And oh, oh, that's <laughs> nice. This is gross. Thanks, mom. <laughs> no, no, it was bad. I also I tried to make my own pumpkin filling. Okay. And I I think I burned it. Oh. It was not, not delightful. Oh no. Nothing was good. Oh no. The pumpkins are. Oh, and then I sweetened it with molasses. Sorry. <laughs> they, they don't go well together. Molasses, molasses and, and pumpkin? pumpkin? Really? Oh. Nope. Nope. And ginger. <laughs> it's just disgusting. <laughs> Try something. Right, now is the time. You're just mesmerized by your, by your, what's that? Snowflake. 
What are you gonna do with it? Let's, let's bring it. Look at how well they're doing. I am just here doing nothing, watching them do the cookies. Are you gonna do like a spin or something? Really? Are you gonna drag through and make it all? Oh, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? I wasn't going to, but that is a fantastic. <laughs> Look at you both go. Here we go. I love it. It really is mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. They look like little hearts. Oh. They do. How fun is that? Do you do, uh, where is it? That's cute. That's really cute. I I really didn't know how that was going to turn out. I just went around. And breathe. Oh my goodness. Breathe. That is really good. Thanks. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. These are beautiful. great cookies. So fun. You guys gonna eat one? The icing's not ready. That's the thing. Oh, With these okay. ones, you kind of have to wait. One. Yeah. <laughs> well, it smells like a cookie now. It's just a bit runny. It'll run everywhere, but eat it. Oh, I'll get all the Go for it. No, oh, just have a napkin and eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. It okay. doesn't have any. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna eat the ugly one. I promise. <laughs> hey, I made that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just white. You didn't I'm put any kidding. effort. To make, like the rest of them. The rest okay. of them have a heart. That's true. Like, these just. Stage. I just really want basic on that one. It's cute. It's, it's still cute. It's still cute. It's just the last, the one I'm not gonna feel bad about. Either. <laughs> well, and this is this is why you get people to work on cookies for you. <laughs> no, this is great. One day, I don't know if I will commit to to making them. I'm definitely gonna make them I'll the icing to me. But I need time. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Like right now, we don't have children running around. Us. Yes. Sorry. That's okay. a free trip. And I have. Oh, I have. So good. Can I do it? Can I do this with children? That's the question. Can I do this with two kids? Mm, yes. Your cookies just might not look, not look as. Like this. Yeah. Well. As organized, but yeah, you certainly can. Is there an easier way to put icing? Yeah, like you don't have to. For kids? Yeah, like just don't make this icing. Make like just like a buttercream icing and they can just spread it on and add sprinkles. Like you don't have to. Like this is oh, harder to work with. Okay. And the buttercream ice cream is I, icing. butter <laughs> icing? Yeah, butter, icing, sugar, vanilla, a little bit of milk or cream. And it's thicker, right? Yeah. Well, you could it's like more like too, spread spreadable. Or you, would the kids you could, do it but with the like kids just spoon. spread it with a spoon and put sprinkles on it, right? <laughs> yeah. Does Paisley? Paisley helps you yet? Uh, like, is she interested? In, she is, yeah. Like, helping? I sit her up on the counter and then she, like, helps me dump vanilla or dump the flour in, but with help, of course. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. with a lot of help. <laughs> My kids also help me. So they actually, they wiped the table, their own table. Wow. And it was not bad. That's, That's impressive. It was very impressive. I was very proud of them. Mm-hmm. I think they just wanted a, a, 
like a bread with chocolate. Uh. I made those, um, what are those things called? The croissants? Oh, yeah. And you buy them and they are already yeah. done and yeah, you just yeah. roll it. <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes in the <laughs> oven. And then I put a piece of chocolate in the middle and roll. Oh, perfect. Board. Yummy. That was dessert today. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, but you need to clean. <laughs> and they did. And food they loved is, it. Food is motivating, okay? Mm hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Should I help you with one more? Mm -hmm. Instead of just sitting here and eating? <laughs> Did you like that? I can't. Did it taste mm -hmm. good? Oh yeah. Good. And the icing's delicious too. Yeah, sometimes pretty icing is mm -hmm. gross. Like it doesn't taste good. No. But this it one's not taste bad. Like coloring either. Like the the drop coloring has a spe special scent, no? Yeah, it's pretty flavorful in a not nice way. <laughs> Which one? Is? Like the drop, the drop food coloring. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I used gel food coloring when I was quarantining. I was painting, and I needed orange paint, and I didn't have oh, any. That's so I was like, one. that's amazing. I'm gonna try orange gel my parents had orange gel food coloring it didn't really work like it did but it bled orange into everything and now it's been dried for like since july if you touch it it still is like orange all over your hands it's a fun little interactive feature <laughs> interactive <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoy cookies at home. If you try this, let us know how relaxing it was for you. And Merry Christmas. Merry, I guess. Merry Christmas. Merry, Christmas. Merry Advent, because it's not Christmas yet. We are almost there. Little strange things. <laughs>